What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Every single Tuesday in July, you saw me hitting up the Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale and hitting it pretty hard. Well, in this video, I wanted to update you on every single Criterion I have in my collection so far. I'm a beginner collector of the Criterion Collection. However, I'm proud to say that I have 42 titles so far. So I wanted to update you on every single thing that I have not just what I picked up in July. So I'm going to start with the criterions that I already picked up and that have been in my collection. Then we'll get to all the titles I picked up in the month of July. So let's start off with one of my favorite movies of all time, definitely in my top 10 and my favorite rom-com. And that is Moonstruck. When I heard this was coming out on Criterion, I had to pick it up. Cher, Nicolas Cage, Italian American culture, Olympia Dukakis and Cher. They won their Oscars for this film. I love this movie. I can watch this movie over and over and never be bored with it. I've seen it so many times and I love it. Their portrayal of Italian Americans is so right on the money. That's one of the things that I love most about it. All of the details that they put into this was absolutely fantastic. If you've not seen Moonstruck, please do yourself a favor, pick this up. It is so worth it. And it looks fabulous on Criterion. It looks amazing. Going into Election. Weird, quirky ass movie, but it is my favorite Reese Witherspoon performance ever of all time because she is so unlike herself. I love this film. She plays a high schooler, little snot rag, know-it-all. You just want to smack her across the face all the time. Matthew Broderick is also in this film. It is off. There, it, I'm warning you right now. If you watch Election, it is weird, but it's good. It's a good weird. I haven't seen that in a while. I'm going to have to watch that again soon. Coming up, Marriage Story. Scar jo, Adam Driver. Two of my favorite actors working right now together, getting a divorce. Oscar nominated. Laura Dern won. Whatever. I'm still bitter about that. But the movie itself... I had to get it. When I knew it was coming out on Criterion, yes, it was a must get to pick up because I love both of those actors. And if Joaquin Phoenix did not win for Joker, I wanted it to be Adam Driver. He needs an Oscar very, very soon. House of Gucci is coming out this year. Cross our fingers. Maybe he'll get it for that. Who knows? The winner for best packaging so far for the Criterion Collection for me is dazed and confused. Now this movie is dazed and confused, obviously. I don't partake in what this movie is about, but I watched it, I had a good time with it, and anytime I could see a young Matthew McConaughey and Ben Affleck in the same movie, I'm all about it. So it was a good time. I love this packaging though. It's really awesome. Going into the criterions that I've yet to watch that were already in the collection, on the Waterfront with Marlon Brando. I wanted to pick this up because I wanted more movies with Marlon Brando, one of our classic all-time actors of all time. So, and the packaging. The packaging is great as well. So I definitely wanted to pick that up. The Age of Innocence, directed by Martin Scorsese. If I had a gun to my head, who's your favorite director of all time? I'd probably say Martin Scorsese off the top of my head. I love all of his work. I gravitate more towards the mob movie. So this is definitely a departure. Like I said, I have not seen it yet, but I will. I'm looking forward to watching it. Last up of what I already had is In a Lonely Place with Humphrey Bogart. I think when I picked this up, I had just watched Casablanca, so he was fresh in my mind. And when I saw it, I was like, ooh, a Humphrey Bogart title. So I just randomly picked it up. I know nothing about this movie. The cover got me. I was like, okay. And I read the back. It looked pretty interesting, so I picked it up. Now let's get into what I got this past July at the Criterion sale. It was a lot. It was about 30 titles or so, 30 some odd titles. So we got a lot to go through. Okay, as always, I don't do anything small here on the channel. Bringing a baby. Heard a lot of great things about this from you guys in the comments that I should get it. So I did. I listen to you guys. You think I don't, but I do. Deep cover. This cover is what had me. The pink, the purple, Lawrence Fishburne. I'm there. Plus I read the back of it. It sounds pretty interesting. So I wanted to get it. Classic movie, The Rose with Bette Midler. Bette Midler is an icon that needs to be appreciated. Okay, so anytime I can get something with Bette Midler, I'm going to get it. 
and I've never seen it. So I'm looking forward to that one. I always say I'm looking forward. I am. I'm looking forward to watching all of these movies. I just don't have all the time in the world. Blood Simple by the Coen Brothers. I heard things about this one as well. It also has Frances McDormand in it, per usual, and I believe it is her first performance ever. That's another reason why I wanted it, because I love her as an actress. I'm getting a lot of her physical media, so when I heard she was in this, wanted to pick it up and grab it. Here we go. Mildred Pierce. Okay, we all know Joan Crawford, Mommy Dearest. She was freaking weird, but she did win her Oscar for this movie. So when I saw this in the pile... I had to grab it. I need to see what she won her Oscar for. She was talented. We need to give her a little bit of credit. Have you ever seen Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Woo! She was good in that too. All right. Sid and Nancy. Random pickup. I know. Random pickup. I don't know anything about it whatsoever, but I read the back cover. It's got Gary Oldman in it. I'm sold. Moving on to Rushmore. Never seen. Heard, heard good things. The Game with Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. Midnight Cowboy. Charade with Audrey. Anytime I can pick up Audrey, I'm going to. So I'm looking forward to this one. Criterion. Oh. Wildlife. This one intrigued me because Carrie Mulligan, I was on the Carrie Mulligan high from Promising Young Woman. So when I saw her name, I was like, ah, let me grab this. Carrie Mulligan. Jake Gyllenhaal, directed by Paul Dano. He usually just acts, but he directed this movie. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. And you guys were telling me this is a great movie, that I made a great choice in picking this up. So kudos to me. Next up is Something Wild. Who is this? Melanie Griffith, Jeff Daniels. This is like from the 80s. This is from my childhood. So sure, why not? Now we have the movie that everyone was getting. When it, when it came out. I think because of the packaging. It's just so appealing. It's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I love how this looks. This is one of my favorite high school ensemble films of all time. You have this. You have Breakfast Club. Clueless. Movies like that just ingrained in you. Fast Times is definitely one of those. Falls into that category. I love the packaging. It pops right in your face. This was the 80s. So it definitely pops. Love it. The Big Chill. Never seen it. Sex Lies and Videotape. We'll just move on from that one. <laughs> no comment. No comment. All right. Memories of Murder, Bong Joon-ho. I think every collector picked up this movie during the Criterion sale. And yes, I am one of those that picked it up as well. Bong Joon-ho should be very happy that everyone is picking up that movie. Then we have... Two movies that were recommended in the comments, and that is Diabolique and Personal Shopper with Kristen Stewart. I was looking at this one, did not get it, and then someone commented randomly that I should pick it up, so I did. Like I said, I listen to you guys. I listen to my comments. All right, so moving on, we have three titles that were gifted to me by subscribers. You guys are so generous and so nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. We have The Prince of Tides. I don't remember offhand who gave me that one. I apologize, but it's Barbara. It's Barbara. I mean, come on. How, how did I not pick that up earlier? That's what he even said in my note. I see you passing by this, but you never get it. So he got it for me. And then we have, it's a mad, 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 six mad worlds. Uh, this is from Philip. Thank you so much, Philip. I truly appreciate this one. And then this is from, I believe, Chris, if I remember correctly, The Young Girls of Rockford, a musical that he encouraged me to watch with Mama Blu-ray. So we will enjoy this together. Thank you again, everyone that sent me something. You don't have to. It is not a requirement, but you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. Moving on to Being John Malkovich. I had not seen this in, I think, my first three trips. And then the last trip I took, it was there. And it was the only one. So I snatched it up. I know it's weird. But I'm prepared for it. A lot of people were like, that movie's weird. I don't mind weird movies. I pick up weird stuff all the time. Secrets and Lies. This was Oscar nominated. So it's always good to have Academy Award nominated movies or winners in the collection. 
thief with James Caan. I got a lot of comments about this because you guys don't know when I'm filming in my car, I don't have a script. I don't pre-think anything when I'm about to say something. I just touch the button and roll with it. And I said this was his first movie. Now, I misread the back cover. It was the director's first movie, apparently. I know James Caan was in The Godfather. I'm not an idiot. However, I, I don't have an actor's filmography right in front of me, and I don't read it before I film, just so you guys know. So all the hateful comments about that mistake... I apologize, okay? So let's get it straight. I know James Caan was in The Godfather. There we go. I hope this rectifies everything that, <laughs> that happened before. I apologize, guys. Some of you guys take it really seriously, but I can respect that. All right. Punch Drunk Love, Adam Sandler. I love it when he's not being stupid. So I appreciate movies like that. That and Uncut Gems, which is also coming out in Criterion in October, I believe. Then we have The Ice Storm, family drama placed in Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut, so why not pick this up? I love a good family holiday drama type of story. So that just seemed like it was right up my alley. All right, we're almost done, guys. We're getting there. In the Heat of the Night. The cover is what got my attention. The red, and then I actually read it. Sounds very interesting. Sydney Poitier, right? Sydney Poitier. Rod Steiger, he won the Oscar for this. So anything, again, anything Academy Award winning, I should have, or I should at least watch it. So looking forward. Blowout with John Travolta. I heard mid-level media talking about this in his most anticipated video, I believe, of Criterion releases. So I said, if mid-level media is excited about it, I should be excited about it too. I went to Barnes & Noble. I looked for it. There it was. I read the back cover. It sounds pretty good. So I'm excited about watching this one. Definitely. I like John Travolta. He needs to come back. I miss him. All right. Tootsie. What? Tootsie. I've never seen it before. So I'm looking forward. Gotta love a good comedy. And I like the cover of this. The red. If you guys can see the red. I don't know. It just It looks great. That's a great cover. I like that. Then we have Ghost World, another ScarJo title, very young ScarJo. And I've seen this movie before. It's definitely weird, kind of off the rails a little bit, but you can appreciate it for what I appreciate it for what it is. And Steve Buscemi, like, I think he's so underrated. I enjoy him as an actor. So I, the whole thing, that was a no brainer for me. ScarJo, Steve Buscemi, Thora Birch, I'm there. All right. I want to hold your hand. The cover got to me. What can I say? I don't know. This was like a random buy. <laughs> I don't regret it. Um, <laughs> my own private Idaho. Got You can't go wrong with more Keanu Reeves. You can't go wrong with more Keanu Reeves in, in the collection. Plus it does have the late River Phoenix. So yes, definitely wanted to get this one. Almost done. We have three left. Then we have, let's see. Rebecca, Alfred Hitchcock, definitely expanding on that Alfred Hitchcock collection. And this did win Best Picture, I believe. So that was a must get. I saw that remake or reboot, whatever, on Netflix. So I'm really hoping that that is going to be way better. <laughs> it probably is than the Netflix thing. Then we have Mulholland Drive. I've heard mixed things about this movie. Either you love it or you hate it. We'll see where I fall with this. If I hate it, I always have the I hate this movie video series, so I can always toss it in there. No problem. Last but not least, anytime I'm feeling super campy and ridiculous, I can always put in Valley of the Dolls. Never seen this one. I've heard so many things about it. It does have the late Sharon Tate in it, which is, all you know, her life was featured in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. So proud to have Valley of the Dolls in my collection. So that is my entire Criterion collection so far. Let me know down below what you have in your collection and how many Criterion titles do you own. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.